Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Weekly Coder. And um, you know what I'm going to do is, uh, along with the Pac-Man tutorial uh, that I've been working on uh, week by week, I'm also going to incorporate another tutorial right alongside of it. Um, and it's uh, a tutorial that was requested uh, by one of the viewers. So, um, and, and it's not going to be horribly um, extensive, so that uh, it, it's not... Uh, it's going to be, let's see, how many parts did I make this? Uh, okay, so all in all, we're looking at a nine-part tutorial, um, which uh, the parts are going to consist of the initial setup for part one. Part two is going to be the game script. Part three, we're going to have uh, moving the paddle. Uh, part four is going to be basic ball movement. Uh, part five is going to be more complex ball movement. Um, part six is going to be the computer AI. Part seven, we're going to do the user interface. Um, and I may roll a lot of part seven into part one. Um, part eight, uh, we're going to do scoring and game over. And part nine is going to be about increasing difficulty of the game. Okay. So again, uh, we are making a Pong clone, which uh, it's going to be kind of fun because uh, it's a game that I, uh, you know, um, played a long time ago when I was uh, younger. But uh, it's it's going to be great because um, you know it, it's going to bring back a lot of nostalgia for uh, people, and um, you guys will actually get to see the inner workings of how a game like this can be uh, structured. Um, there's going to be a little bit of trigonometry, um, just a little little tiny bit, um, and that's going to have to do with the angles of the ball and deflections and stuff like that. We're not going to be using any uh, rigid bodies or any kind of collision detection uh, that Unity offers. We are going to basically just do our own kind of um, not collision detection because we're not detecting collisions but um, this game is very small there isn't a whole lot going on so we can use um, positions that we know are static that won't change or ones that are static that have um, slight change uh, chances of changing um, we can take that into account so um, that's what we're going to be doing. Um, so again, no collision detection. It's all going to be based on code and, and figuring out if something is less than something else to figure out whether or not it would collide. And if it does, then we're going to, you know, send the ball back the other direction. Same thing with the paddles. We're going to limit their movement based on where the top and bottom of the screen are. So those kinds of things. So the first uh, video, as you all know for, um, from my previous tutorials, uh, I always sort of start the first part with uh, the, uh, the setup. Right, so um, those are going to be the various game elements that we're going to be using in uh, creating this tutorial, and we're going to walk through uh, creating the folders that we need, the uh, scripts that we're going to be using, the uh, assets that we're going to be importing. We're going to go ahead and create all the prefabs that we need, and so that when we move on to um, part two, which is the game script, um, we're going to be ready for that. Okay, so to start with. Uh, let's go ahead and create some folders. We're going to need a uh, scenes folder, of course. Um, we're going to also be needing, in this one, we're going to need a fonts folder because we're going to be using a different kind of font. Uh, we're going to need a um, scripts folder, a graphics folder, A resources folder because we are going to be instantiating prefabs and in our resources folder we're going to create a prefabs folder okay so now that we've got our folders created let's go ahead and create the scripts that are going to be in the scripts folder so let's go ahead and highlight the scripts folder go into um, here and go right click Create C sharp script, and we're going to call this one. Let's see what we've got. Uh, we need a script for the ball, and we need another script for the player. We're going to need a script, uh, not a folder. <laughs> yes, I want to delete it. Uh, we're going to need a script for the computer. We're going to need a script for the game. Um, and I think, let's see, one, two, th 
three, four, five. Need a script for the HUD. Okay. So now, um, before we do anything else, let's go ahead and set our resolution up. Um, because if we go to game view, you'll see that uh, you've got display, right? It just tells you which display you're going to be running on. And you've got the resolution here. And I've got mine already set at 4 to 3, okay? So that's what you're going to want to set your resolution at. And um, in scene view, let's go back to our main camera. And we're going to be making a slight modification to our camera. And that is going to be, we're going to change the size to 11. And, yep, that's it. So let's zoom out a little bit here. So this is our camera, all right? So the next thing we've got to do is we've got to import all of our assets, all right? So we've got fonts. So I'm just going to go ahead and I've got a folder here. I'm just going to drag stuff in here. This is the font we're going to use. And as always, I'm going to have a um, download available that's going to have all these assets available to you so you can use those. In the graphics folder, we're going to import the ball the paddle and the actual background for the game. Okay, We're going to select all of these by holding down Command or I think Control on Windows. We're going to select them all. We're going to set our pixels per unit to 10 and our filter mode to point so that we uh, don't get any uh, anti-aliasing. Alright, then we're going to drag all three of these graphics into our hierarchy. Nope, not together because it's going to want to create an animation. So one at a time. Here's our background. Um, then we've got our paddle and our ball. We'll call this one player paddle. And we'll duplicate it by pressing Command D on a Mac or Control D on Windows. And we'll call this one computer paddle. Okay, so we've got the that we've got the actual background. We've got the player paddle, and the computer paddle, and the ball. So we're going to need to create prefabs for three of these things. One being the player, one the computer, and the ball. So we're going to open up our resources and prefabs folder. Then go ahead and drag down the ball, the computer paddle, and the player paddle. Okay, so now we've got three fabs created for all three of these. We can take the ball and get rid of it. All right, so since we've got these prefabs made, um, let's go ahead and drag their uh, respective scripts onto them, okay? So we've got our player paddle here. We're gonna add component the search for player. There's the player script. Double click on that. Got our computer paddle. Add component. Search for computer. Click on that. Ball. Add component. Ball. All right. So now all of these three uh, these three prefabs have uh, scripts on them. Okay. So now if we go in here, look at the player paddle, we'll see that the player script's attached. The computer paddle has the computer script attached, and all is right with the world. So, for now, um, I'm going to skip over the, yeah, I'm going to skip over the HUD, and we'll just save that for, um, uh, we'll save that for part seven, um, since otherwise part seven would probably only take, uh, would be a two minute video, and that would be very, very short. <laughs> um, so, we are going to go ahead and position our, um, our paddle and our yeah both the paddles for the player and the computer okay so we've got uh select our transform tool Let's see we've got both of these selected here all right so that's the computer it's the player paddle we're going to put on the left and the x position for the player paddle is going to be negative 13 um the uh y is going to be zero and the z let's put it at negative two and for the computer, it's going to be 13, 0, and negative 2, okay? So now that we've got this, 
I think there really isn't anything else that we need to set up at this point. Oh. That's uh, that's basically it. That's the uh, that's the entire setup for the Pong game. Okay. So we've got our paddles. They're prefabs. They've got scripts. We've got our background. Um, let's go ahead and create uh, the game object, and we're going to create an empty. And we won't leave it named game object. We're going to call it game. And on this game object, we're going to go ahead and add component and add the game script to that. Okay, what does that leave us with here? We've got ball, computer, game, HUD, play. All right. So the only script we haven't used yet is the HUD script because uh, we haven't created the HUD yet. And that's fine. So we're going to just move game up here underneath camera. All right, so now when we press play, we've got a nice little setup here for a Pong game. Okay. So you all know how Pong works. Ball comes, deflect it, comes back. That's what we're going to get into um, in part two is... Uh, See, I may combine parts two and three because part two is the game script, which really doesn't do much um, other than set up a whole bunch of methods and stuff that we're going to be calling from other scripts. And uh, part three is actually moving the paddles. So we're going to do part two and part three together. And then maybe... See, part five for more complex ball movement should really be its own tutorial. So maybe we'll do two, three, and four, because that'll give us, um, yeah, that'll, that'll give us the game script, moving the paddles, and the basic ball movement. And maybe I can trim those down into a 15-minute tutorial. Yep, and then we'll do part five. And I'm going to try to turn these out um, also once a week, but what I'll do is uh, either I'll um, post them on Mondays or Tuesdays with uh, my regular videos going up Sundays like I usually do. So um, if you like this uh, tutorial, uh, give it a thumbs up. And um, if you like the channel, subscribe for more videos. Leave your comments down below. Uh, feel free to ask any questions. Um, other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good